So how are we going to choose the right tire? There are so many different brands, tread designs, speed ratings and rebates, it can be confusing. Oftentimes when we get our training from the tire companies, they want us to know about their new technology. But that technology may not apply in every instance for the customer. So we're going to talk about general characteristics for tires and tread designs so that we can apply the right tire to your customer's needs. When choosing the correct tire for the customer standing in front of you, I want you to take three things into account. Number one, understand the vehicle, understand the customer, and finally, choose the correct tire for that situation. So how do we understand the vehicle? We must start with inspecting the vehicle. Take the time to look at what the current tire is on the vehicle and what's the condition of it. How does it compare to the original equipment tire that came on the vehicle? To understand this, we got to start by looking at the door placard. Next, we need to know if the vehicle is the base model or the upgraded model. What is the age and condition of the vehicle? Or does it have an infant car seat in it? This is helpful information because it helps to describe how the customer sees their vehicle. Is the vehicle strictly used for utility from point A to point B? Or do they take pride in their vehicle and are more receptive to talking about an upgrade for their tires? This leads us to our next point, understanding the customer. The most important question to ask the customer is whether they've been happy with their current tires on their vehicle. This leads to a further question. Do you have a long commute? What type of traction is most important to you? Wet traction? Or is it winter traction? How about dry traction? Are they concerned with the quiet and comfort of the tire? Or is price the overriding concern? By asking these clarifying questions, you can categorize the driver into image, enthusiast, OE replacement, or utility. Oftentimes an image customer is concerned with pricing and at the same point, the right look for the vehicle. Whereas the enthusiast is truly concerned with how the vehicle is gonna handle in braking and cornering power. Another customer may be concerned with the OE replacement. They were happy with the original tires on their vehicle and they just want to maintain that and replace it with the original tire. Other customers are only concerned with the utility of the tire and price plays a major factor. What is the cost of getting from point A to point B? You will understand what is important by asking questions. Once we understand the vehicle and the consumer, we can choose the correct tire to the vehicle. So let's do an exercise and choose the correct tire. Let's ask a question. Which tire is going to be the best performance and give you the quietest ride? If you chose number six, you're correct because that tire is in constant contact with the road and will be an extremely quiet tire and give very good traction in the drive. Look at tire number five. It will be the same way. It will be a tire that will be very quiet because of its constant center rib and the large block segments that give you very good traction. Tire number three will also give you very good traction and I suspect that it will give extremely good life. By looking at it, you can see that it probably has a deeper original tread depth than tire number five. It will also give good all season characteristics. What would be the downfall of tire number six? If you said that it wouldn't be good in the wet weather, you're probably right, because the water would get trapped underneath this tire and cause it to hydroplane. Which of these tires do you think is gonna be the best in wet weather? If you chose number four, you are correct. Have a look at its directional tread design. This is a tire that's gonna sweep the water back and out from underneath the tread. It will also have a wide center groove to help move the water. The tread design is a directional pattern, which takes its design from the Formula One rain tire. 
So let's talk about another characteristic. Let's talk about winter driving. Which of these tires is going to be the best in winter? You may have said tire number two or number one because of its large block segments. That's good on the surface, but the problem is it's not taking into account the rubber compound. Winter driving needs high silica rubber compounds that are good on ice. Number two and number one may be extremely good in deep snow, but when you start getting into ice driving, you need the characteristics of tire number seven, which is a tire with high silica rubber compounds, which you can't see in the picture, and large amounts of sipes, which you can see. If you are driving off-road, tire number one and number two would be very good, and probably very good in slush. To summarize, when you are looking at wet weather tires, have a look at a tire with a high tread to void ratio. Now what does that mean? This means tire number six, there is all tread. In tire number two and one, there are large amounts of openness in these tires. When you have openness, it's very good for adverse conditions. For things like rock climbing or driving through mud. But it will not be a very quiet tire. Whereas tire number seven will be good, quiet, and give excellent traction in winter. So now that we understand a little bit more about tread design, how does this affect the customer standing before you? 90% of customers are interested in an all season tire, a summer performance tire, or a winter tire. Let's talk about these individual tires. First, an all season tire. This tire normally appeals to the customer that is concerned with the OE replacement tire, or a customer that is strictly concerned with the utility of the vehicle. An all-season tire is not normally an aggressive tire. It is a tire that has a closed shoulder and tends to give a quiet, smooth ride while delivering great mileage. The grooves are long and open and give good wet weather traction. It does have some sipes on the tire. What is a sipe? Well, a sipe is a cut in the tread block that opens up while driving, therefore giving a sharp biting edge to the tread. The next tire we're going to talk about is a summer performance tire. This tire caters to a customer who is concerned with image or the handling characteristics of their vehicle. This tire has less sipes on it, therefore it has more constant contact with the road. With a continuous center rib, it gives great traction in the drive. It oftentimes starts with a lower tread depth and or a softer compound. So this tire may not deliver the same mileage expectations as the all-season tire. Performance tires often have a stronger casing to them, which give better braking power and cornering ability. Depending on where you live in Canada, a large portion of the customers may be purchasing winter tires. So let's talk about the characteristics of winter tires. Winter tires have zigzag sipes as opposed to a straight sipe on the all-season tire. When you put a zigzag sipe on a tire, this gives more biting edges as the tire goes through its pattern. And this tire has greater elasticity in cold weather. Winter tires are designed to run at temperatures below 7 degrees. And when this rubber remains soft and pliable at those cold temperatures, it gives much better grip on ice. Imagine a frozen hockey puck on a frozen ice surface. This tire can slide for a long period of time. When its compound is designed to run at colder temperatures, it gives amazing grip to the tire. These tires also have open shoulder designs to deal with snow conditions. Remember, winter tires should always be replaced in sets of four to give the same biting traction on all four wheel positions. So hopefully this discussion has been helpful for choosing the right tire for your customer.